Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. And we're going to kick off today with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. We spoke about him yesterday, the rumours that were flying around. His coach of Gabon was uh, asked for the reasons why he hadn't been selected to play in that game against Mauritania. And the coach came out at the time and said that, listen, he's currently sorting out a move. Now, this has angered Borussia Dortmund, who've come out with a very hard statement where they've, you know, categorically denied this. Um, the CEO of Dortmund, who goes by the name of Hans Joachim Watts, says that um, this is absolute nonsense and that uh, Aubameyang is not going anywhere. So... As a, a lot of hope was built up straight away, he's just dampened it down. I mean, I got to thinking yesterday, who's telling the truth here? I mean, why would the coach of Gabon come out and, and, and say something like that? Was he just trying to big himself up? I mean, you know, if he's just made that up, that is a really bad thing to do to one of your star players. You know, you, you're really putting him in it. And But if it is true, is it that Dortmund are trying to deny it because... Obviously, selling Mats Hummels, you know, to Bayern Munich was a massive blow to them and to their fans would be really very angry about that, losing another one of their top players to one of their main rivals. So is it one of these things where they got to come out and say something like this to stop the rumours from flowing? I don't know. I just get the feeling that the whole Aubameyang thing, unless he comes out and signs another extension to his contract, it's going to run and run all summer. Whether he'll move or not, I don't know. He could up in, end up in Spain because he's always said that's the place he'd prefer to go. Apparently uh, promised his grandfather that he'd play for Real Madrid one day. Uh, but money talks. The money's over here in the Premier League at the moment. You know, all the Premier League clubs have got loads of money. Arsenal, City, Manchester United, Chelsea. It'd be very tempting for him. I think this one's going to be one that's going to run for a lot of the uh, transfer window. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But for now, it looks like Aubameyang is not going anywhere. Um, lots of talk about defenders and, and Arsenal, it looks like, are looking at defenders um, this uh, transfer window, which I think is a great thing because uh, centre-backs, we've got guys like Per Mertesacker, he's 32 years of age. He's slowing down. He's coming towards the end of his career. What's happening with guys like Kieran Gibbs? You know, is he going to stay at Arsenal? He'd be very disappointed that he didn't play more in the Premier League. And of course, you know, he missed out on the Euros. What's the cover for Hector Bellerin in case if anything happened to him? So Arsenal looking at defenders, and I think definitely that is a good thing. One of the defenders we've been heavily linked with is Ricardo Rodriguez. He plays as a left back for Wolfsburg, uh, 23 years of age. Now we're being told, um, <coughs> excuse me, that he's got a 25 million uh, euro release clause in his contract that runs out in June. So will Arsenal try and make a signing for him? He's been heavily linked with many other clubs around Europe as well. So it's not just Arsenal who are looking at him, but is it going to be a signing that might interest Arsene Wenger? Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, the one good thing in his favour, in uh, Arsene Wenger's favour, if he is interested in him, is that he's uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, very, very good friends with his Swiss teammate, Granite Shaka. So maybe Granite could have a word in his ear and say, yeah, get over it, mate. It's all right. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but a heavy rumour at the moment. Another player being linked with us is Kostas Manolos. Um, centre-back, currently plays for Roma, a uh, Greek international. Uh, he's been continually linked with um, a move to Arsenal. He's got three years left on his contract. He's been questioned by journalists about whether he's going to be staying at Roma. And basically, he said, listen, it's up to Roma. It's up to my agent. I'm just concentrating on my football right now. So again, Manolos being linked. Matteo Matuccio, I hope I pronounced that correctly, probably not, um, but he's basically Argentinian international, uh, plays his football for Villarreal, very talented player, very, very well thought of in um, Spain at the moment. We're being told that Arsenal and Roma, interestingly, are uh, interested in him. Uh, Roma uh, being interested in, could that mean that they want to move on Manolos and bring him in? But uh, definitely another imposing centre-back that Arsenal are looking at, and that is Matteo Masaccio. Uh, and there's also 
Koulibaly, Kalidou Koulibaly from Napoli. We've spoken about him a few times on the show. This guy, very highly rated, will be hard to shift away from Napoli. I mean, Correa dello, dello Sport over there in Italy, they claimed that um, Bayern Munich were chasing him before they bought Mats Hummels and even made an offer of 40 million euros, but this was turned down by Napoli, who said they wanted more money. Uh, that means that to shift away the 24-year-old, Arsenal are going to have to pay big money. You're talking about about £30 million. Pounds. I mean, I've seen lots of quotes around about the £20 million pound mark, but if that's true what Coriolo della Sport are saying, and that sort of money was turned down for him previously, and we know that Napoli are a very hard club to negotiate with, it could be upwards towards £30 million. Pounds. Are Arsenal willing to pay that amount of money? I think, listen, if he's what as good as what everybody's saying he is, why not? If you're getting a top-rated centre-back, you're going to have to pay the money. And all these Premier League clubs have got loads of money this year, and all the other clubs around Europe know it. You're not going to get these players for cheap. And then, of course, there's Mehdi Benatia, currently of Bayern Munich. Player that, will, to me, looks like he's going to be available. Very experienced centre-back. Um, it could be a good signing for Arsenal if they were able to get Benatia. He's a top, top centre-back. And as I said, <clears throat> because of Mats Hummels coming in now at Bayern Munich, he might be available. So there's, there's a whole host of um, centre-backs out there that could be available for Arsenal. Arsenal need a centre-back. I think it's definitely a position that Arsenal need. They need someone else in there. Koscielny, we love Koscielny. He's an excellent defender, but gets a lot of injuries. We know that. Again, he's in his 30s. Gabriel, very, very raw. Mertesacker, knocking on a bit. Callum Chambers, very, very inexperienced. We definitely need another centre-back in there, and I hope that Arsene Wenger make sure he fills that position this summer. He's, it's one of the things that has been very irritating about Arsene Wenger over the years is that there's been key positions where we need players that he hasn't filled and we've ended up paying the price. And I hope he doesn't do that with the centre-back position this summer. Um, just as we're talking about defenders, could be good news for Hector Bellerin. Um, good news that he may you know, profit from you know, the unfortunate injury to Danny Carvajal of Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Carvajal, of course, who limped off in that final. Remember, he was in tears when he was coming off, uh, but he could miss out on the Euros, and if he does, it means that Hector Bellerin um, could get called up. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That means that Barcelona will be there running their eyes across him. If he has a great tournament, they might want him. <laughs> and actually, then you know what it's like, you play tournament football as well, injuries, tiredness, you know, so do we really want him to go from a selfish point of view? Listen, I want him to go, it'd be great to see him on the biggest stage and for him to pit himself against the very best strikers um, in Europe. Right, let's get into the comments, uh, see what you guys had to say uh, yesterday. Um, Kashif Nadim says, Arsenal need to buy Kante. He could be our new Patrick Vieira. Uh, loads of uh, rumours yesterday from all outlets linking Kante with a move to, to Arsenal. But Kante says for now, he's happy. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. Very early in the transfer window. There's still loads and loads of times to run on some of these deals. Um, Rich19 says, we are not an upgrade compared to Dortmund. He won't join us. He's talking about Aubameyang sort of saying, why would he want to leave Borussia Dortmund and join Arsenal? We're not an upgrade. I'd say I'd have to agree with you. We're not an upgrade on Borussia Dortmund as a club right now. But when it comes to money, Arsenal can definitely pay a lot more in wages to a player. Way, way more, as a matter of fact, than a club like Borussia Dortmund. That's why Dortmund are always losing their top players because they just can't match the wages of the top clubs. Um... Spencer14D says, Mark Bartra has a release clause in his contract, the highly rated um, player from Barcelona. For 6.4 million, we should go in and get him what a bargain he would be. Shifting Bartra will be hard though because uh, Barca definitely want to keep hold of him. Uh, DNO uh, Nixikyuk says, uh, I'd rather get Manolos than Benatia. All right, so he's thinking, um, he's thinking definitely defenders. And finally here, 
Oh, we'll do these last two. Kevin Smith says, Arsenal should definitely sign Aubameyang. And Trafalgar says, I have a terrible feeling that Aubameyang is going to Manchester City. Ooh, that, listen, it wouldn't surprise me. They've got the Doda up there at City. Um, lots of rumours going around. What I want to ask you today, centre-back position, defenders. Who do you think Arsenal should bring in? Which defenders out there do you think Arsenal should bring in? Defenders are going to be expensive. And you know what? You pay a lot of money for defenders and sometimes it doesn't work out. We saw with Manchester City last season, they paid a huge amount of money, £30 million for, you know, the defenders that they've they got. And £30 million plus for each of them. And they didn't work out. Neither of them. Otamendi, who was brilliant in Spain, Came over to the Premier League and looked very, very shaky. You know, so you've got to get the defender thing right. Sometimes you can, you don't even have to spend masses of money. I mean, I was looking at it the other day and I was even thinking, um, you know, guys like Van Dyke at Southampton. I, I know he's just signed a new contract. I don't know how much money he'd be. He's a guy that I think we should have signed a couple of years ago. But he's used to the Premier League now. Why not go in and make a massive offer for him? We definitely need another centre-back for me, 100%. So who should Arsenal sign? Let me know. Leave it in the comments below. And also, don't forget to check out the Man Like Robbie channel. Um, I did a QA and a yesterday. Uh, make sure you check that out. I'll leave the link um, here uh, below the video and also up above in the video so that you can watch that video. But check out my Q&A on Man Like Robbie. And don't forget to subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV and also to Man Like Robbie. Thanks for watching the show, and we'll back be back be, be we'll be back round about the same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching.